Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 32 of October, November 2014 of A Level Math, paper 3. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. So, right now we have question number one. So, use logs uh, to solve this equation. Okay, uh, giving your answer correct to three decimal places. So, one by one, let's see what can we do. So, here we have exponential x is equal to three x minus two. Now here we use ln because we have exponential, we tend to use ln. So apply ln on both sides. Here you go. Now about the laws of logs, we should know we can bring this down to here and these down to here. So you will have x, ln of e is equal to x minus 2, ln of 3. Now, this one obviously we should know it is just 1, so you will cancel out. Ln of e is 1. Cool. Now, what happens to the rest? We just have to expand and see what can we do with that. Now, this will be x e is equal to, now x times this will be x, ln of 3 minus 2, ln of 3. Now, send all the x to one side, you will have x minus x, ln of 3 e is equal to this one. So finally, we have what? Factorize x, 1 minus ln of 3 is equal to minus 2 ln of 3. So obviously, we're just trying to make x become the subject here to find the value of x. That will be minus 2 ln of 3 divided by 1 minus ln of 3. So minus 2 ln of 3 divided by 1 minus ln of 3. That will be 22.3. Sorry, so I guess three decimal place, my apologies. 22.281. This is your answer for the value of x. That is your question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have to use the trapezium rule. Again, it is just a formula we have to, to use to, uh, with three intervals to estimate the value of this integral. Now, for example, let's say uh, this is the shape of my graph. Now I need three intervals, this is the first value here, which is the base, pi by 6. And the value over here is 2 over 3 pi. Now three intervals, we have to have something like this, right? 1, 2, and 3 intervals. So what are the values here and here? So of course, let's find out. That will be. So what is the width of the trapezium? In other words, that will be 2 this one minus 1 over 6 divided by 3 interval so everything will be at 2 at pi by 6 that should be 2 pi by 6 that should be 3 pi by 6 okay now we have those values we can find the area or the uh, estimate uh, easily again it is just a formula we have to use nothing special here now something we have to know is this one is what cosec is simply 1 over sine of x. This is the equation of the curve we have to uh, use. Now the formula is given to you by what? So the area is half times the width of the trapezium, which we know is the value of what? The width is pi by 6 times f of 0, which is the first one here, plus f of last one, which is this one, and then plus 2 times f of 1 and f of 2. Now, I'm calling this function f for now. That's what's happening. That's why we have this formula right here. Let's replace the values back in my main equation. Now, part 1 is half. That should be pi by 12. Multiply by f of 0 is simple. f is this one. 0 will be the first value here. 1 over sine of pi by 6 plus 1 over sine of 2 over 3 pi plus 2 times 1 over sine of pi over 3 plus 1 over sine pi over 2. Here you go. Now let's simplify these values one by one. What is that going to be? This one, this one, this one, and this one. So first one we have 1 divided by sine. Here use we have radians obviously sine of pi over 6. That will be 2 plus 
here we have a sine of 2 pi over 3. So again, uh, this will be the answer. 1 divided by answer should be 1.1547. 1 plus 2 times what? Sine of pi over 3. 1 divided by answer again should be same thing. And here we have sine pi by 2. That should be just 1. So eventually we just have to solve using the formula, which is what? Pi over 12 multiplied by sum of 2 plus 1.1547 plus 2 times 1.1547 plus 1. Here you go. And this will give you the value of 1.95 units. Again, it's area, but anyway, it's not a big deal. The value will be simply 1.95, correct to two decimal place. The main idea here, we have to use the formula to, to find this. Now, part B, using a sketch of your graph of y equal to cosec. Now, what is y equal to cosec? It is simply, we should know it is 1 over sine x. So we can use the graph of sine x to kind of help us draw this graph, sketch this graph. Now, usually we should know sine x is, it looks like what? It looks something like this. 0, 1. Makes sense, so that's 0, pi and 2 pi. Now, as I can see, of course, this is 1 over sine x, so 1 over this curve right here. And I can see for sine x, we have some values where it is 0. So we do understand that when you divide by 0, it is not possible. It will create asymptotes. If that makes any sense, right? That's the graph of cosec x will simply look like something like this. Again, the answer will be the green color, not the brown. The brown is just a help to help you find your answer for the sketch. It will cap, it will pass through the point over here. It will be something like this. And similarly, something like this over here. This value here is minus 1. The value here is just 1. So your answer eventually for the sketch will be just a green one. You can erase the brown one in the end. Now you can use the sketch to, to do what? Explain whether the trapezium rule gives an uh, overestimate or an underestimate for the true value of the integral part 1. So what is the limit here? Limit here is 2 over 3 pi, and then here we have 1 over 6 pi. Now pi by 6 is 180 by 6, that will be 30 degrees. And the top limit is simply 2 over 3, which is 2 times 180 divided by 3, 120. So as you can see clearly, we know that pi is equal to 180 degrees. So it means that the area we are trying to find is somewhere over here. Makes sense, right? It will not go past pi. In this case, from what we can see, the graph was in this shape. Makes sense, right? In that, in this region. Let's say here we have pi by 6. And let's say here we have pi 2 pi by 3. The limits for for this one. Now, by construction, you can see clearly it will be what? Okay, I, I guess I had drawn too many lines, but I was just trying to show you. If I were to draw lines, you can see the trapezium looks what? It's not perfect, but you get the idea. The curve will go below the trapezium, so the idea is. As you can see, observe, if I were to draw trapeziums in this kind of curve, you'll see the curve are below the trapezium. So this is why it will be an overestimate. That's the reason why it will be an overestimate from what we can observe in the diagram. Again, it is not accurate here, my apologies, for example, I'll have something like this. 
Then between these two, I will have pi by 6. And here I will have 3 pi, 2 pi by 3. Now here I only need two intervals, two for three, sorry, three intervals should be something over here and here. Now if you were to do trapezium, join this with this, and join this with this, and join this one with this one. As an example, right? you can see clearly it is, these are the surplus of the area we are trying to find. So obviously, consequently it will be an overestimate. Now this is your question number two. Now let's move on to question number three. So here we have p of x defined by this polynomial. Now, we have what? It is given that 3x plus 1 is a factor of p of x, so pretty easy. For what value of x? So 3x plus 1 equate that to 0. x will be the value of minus 1 over 3. So it means that when p of x took in the value of minus 1 over 3, there was no remainder. So using that information, let's form an equation. That will be a this cube should be minus 1 over 27 plus b that should be 1 over 9 minus 1 over 3 and 3 has to be 0. Now let's simplify times everywhere by the value of 27 because I don't like to work with the base right let me do this to see what happens. You will have minus a plus 3b uh, plus 9 and plus what? 3 times 27 should be 81. 81. Now simplify, uh, here we have simply 3b minus a, and this will be what? 9 plus 81 should be 90, so plus 90 cents over here should be minus 90. Now a can be subject, a will be the value of 3b plus 90. My equation number 1. Now for part 2, uh, when p of x is divided by this one, the remainder is this. So now for what value of x? Take the factor here, not factor, but the, fa the thing here, equal to 0 x will be the value of 2, so it means when p taking the value of 2 will be having a remainder of 21. So using that information, let's form an equation as well. So let's do this here. a, 2 cubed will be 8, that will be 4, plus 2, plus 3 is equal to 21. That will be 8a, plus 4b, plus 5 is 21. So simplify 8a, plus 4b is equal to that will be 16. Divide by 4 everywhere. You will have 2a plus b equal to the value of 4 right here. This is my equation number 2. So we can use two equations right here to solve simultaneously to find the value of a and b. Replace 2 times a should be the value of this one should be uh, 6b plus 180 plus b is equal to 4. That will be 7b is equal to 4 minus this one should be minus 176. Let's double check. Yep, exactly. Now finally, b will be this one divided by 7. The value is minus 25.14, but there should be a mistake somewhere, right? Usually, it should not give me those values. This one seems to be okay. How about this one? It should be this one is okay, this one is cool, we have minus a here, 9 should be 3, ah, oh, here you go, should be minus 9. As you can see, I made a mistake here, should be minus 9, so you have minus 9 plus 81. That should be 72 instead of 90, so 72 over here. That will be 72. So simplify here, you will have what? 180 already, so 72 times 2, that should be 144. There you go, so eventually, here you will have minus 140, and B will be minus 140 divided by 7. That should be minus 20 as your value for B. Again, usually it will be integers, um, just know that, and as you can see clearly, I made a stupid mistake here, but again, I was able to find this pretty easily, because I do know it's, this is quite not possible, you have B as a value like this. Now a will be simply, 3 times b will be minus 60, plus the value of 72. That will be 12 for the value of a. So finally, a will be the value of 12, and b will be the value of minus 20. That is your question number 3. The description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.